Okay, let's talk about why you should not squish the bug. Okay, if your coach is telling you to squish the bug, run fast, run fast. And coaches, if they're telling these kids to squish the bug, do your research, please. Uh, it's, it, it, it's, it's nothing that elite college hitters do, it's nothing that pro guys do. So, if guys on TV aren't squishing the bug, why would I teach this kid? And I hear a lot of coaches say, well, um, it's easy for them. They understand what I mean, and they get their hips involved, and they're not, they're not using their back leg, they're not using their legs, they're not using their hips. So, uh, when I say squish a bug, they get it. And, and then I'll tell them later as they get older how to fix it. So, if your philosophy is squish the bug, how is your philosophy in one, two, or three years from now when he gets older, how does that philosophy, A, change, B, not even really mess this kid up, because we taught him a certain way, and then when he gets 12 or 13, you're going to say, oh, well, never mind, I was just kidding. Uh, when you were 8, 9, and 10, uh, I didn't think you could understand my vocabulary, so I just mind-screwed you, and now we're going to do something else. That's, that's, that's a tough sell for anybody. So if you're golfing, don't, don't, don't judge me on my backswing here. I'm a terrible golfer. Uh, any guys that play with me in pro ball will tell you that. I'm terrible. So, but when I, watch, watch my hips and my, and my legs, okay? So in my, in my head and my chin. When I get here, boom, where's my chin, okay? My chin is on my shoulder. If I were to get this front foot out and now look at the picture, it's the exact same as a golfer, right? So I'm going to get here first, and then I'm going to, boom, plant it. Look at my back foot. I didn't spin that to hit this golf ball, did I? No, I did not. So when I get here as a hitter or a golfer, and I get boom, there as a golfer, ball's gone. You get extension, hands pronate, supinate, center. Now this back toe and everything else opens up. And then they admire their work. You can't sit here and spin your foot before you hit that golf ball. I've never seen anyone do that. So why would we tell him to do this? and then hit a baseball. That doesn't make sense to me. Physics say you're going around this corner. So if golfers do that, why don't hitters do that the same way as a golfer? A girl's fast pitch, pitcher, what's her back foot do? Boom. Let's watch my back foot. Watch a quarterback. Boom. He's going to press. Right? Infielder. He's going to get here. Boom. Step and throw. Catcher. Come out of the stance. Boom. He's going to get here and he's going to press. Because we're trying to tell kids keep your shoulders lined up. Throw, throw in a straight line, right? If you bowl, walk, pay attention to my back foot when you bowl. What happens? When I spin my foot, or I drug it forward. We're throwing an object in a direction that we want all of our energy to go. So if I understand how to take my energy in the proper direction, you now transfer it into the baseball. So from here, as a hockey player, it's the same thing with my feet. So look at my top hand to get the slap shot off the ice. I'm going to throw my top hand boom, past my bottom hand. Notice where my chin still is. Still on my shoulder. Look at my back foot as a, as a, as a skater in hockey. I don't spin that. Okay? They get here and they boom, through this, and they throw it all to the front. So if I can throw through the front and keep it straight, my puck is going to go straight. My golf ball is going to go straight. My, my, uh, my bowling pin is going to go straight. My fastball as a softball girl is going to go straight where I want it. If I can feel that back leg controlling my front leg, first, boom, you got a, you got a shot at it directing your energy in the right path. So I tell my hitters, for my younger students, the back leg is the principal at school. The front leg is the teacher, I mean, is the student, sorry. The, back, the, the, the principal should always tell the student what to do. You see a lot of hitters, and there's not one way to do it, but this is, this is what we teach. If we just do this and put the foot down, there's no transfer of energy here. Two options have to happen here. One, to press forward, 
this has to collapse and lunge, which is the negative. If I just do this and get my foot down, now I just spin. Boom. Negative. Chest should never be exposed to the pitcher. He should never know what team you play for by reading it on your chest. So if you can feel the one, two, one, two, boom, there, you want to teach your hitters to keep all your weight on the inside part of their leg. You don't want to feel your weight spinning on the outside of your leg. It tends to happen to the upper half, which are my hands. If I'm doing this, where are my hands going? The energy is going to spill around the hip and outside my hand also. Boom. And a lot of young kids can't figure out why they keep casting. But if I can keep one straight movement as a hitter, when he's, in that, when he's on the, uh, the mound, whatever your stance is, I don't care if you're here, I don't care if you're here, I don't care if you're here, I don't care if you're open, doesn't matter, right? But when you go to load and then strive, boom, is your weight on the inside part of your leg here. This is going to keep me in an athletic position. If my weight can stay in between my knees here, all my weight is in the center of my body, center of gravity. Now when my hands go to fly through here, all my energy is stored right in the middle. Not only does that increase my balance, but that increases my bat head speed, my whip. It allows my hands to get through this zone a lot better if I have a real balanced base underneath me. So just making sure that <clears throat> we're really understanding this top hand throw. In the last segment we just talked about, top hand past the bottom hand, just like a hockey player. Boom. I'll show you one more time. Off the, off the ice, and they're going to flap it. Okay? But in baseball, we're going to do the same thing. From here, boom, flap it, and then spin it. From here, slap it, boom, 